Hello. Welcome to jasonchats.com. My name's Jason and this this is my vlog. My big hairy beardy vlog. I can't even remember. doing a vlog last night. I'm sure I did. Anyway, today, I didn't go to bed till about 4.30 this morning. Uh, something just after four because I was busy doing stuff on the website and uploading videos to YouTube, to Vimeo and to the making videos and stuff like that. woken up at about uh, half ten I think by the council mowing the lawn it's not a euphemism they really were mowing the lawn and it's so loud there was no option other than to go get out of bed there was zero point in staying in bed and it lasted quite a while and they did the front and then they did other places around and they were you know at it for a while in the end I was up for a little while and then I decided to go to the shops took on day with me for a walk came back and I thought I'm going to go to bed now and this was about 2 o'clock something like that Excuse me. All right, Andre. He's just done a big poo, so I don't really want to pick him up. Especially not with a white t-shirt on. So I got back about two. I thought I'm gonna lay down, have a sleep. No, even more mo lawn mowing going on. It's just this seemed to be a a day of it really. So I thought I'll go to sleep later and I never did end up going to sleep. It's now four minutes to 12 in the evening. And I've done, I did, I couldn't do a let me boy to sleep session first thing in the morning because of the lawnmower obviously. Uh, so I ended up doing it this evening and it seemed to go okay, I think it's about 45 minutes long uh, edited it and uploaded it to YouTube, Podomatic and Podbean and also added it to my website jasonnewland.com I was tired, still tired tired but I don't want to go to bed I don't really like going to bed too early it's just 12 o'clock seems too early to be going to bed but I might just need to do it yeah I do feel tired I'll do a nice little nap <clears throat> so I finished uploading the videos to the Jason Newland's Chronic Pain Hypnosis YouTube channel. That's finished, that's done. Um, so tomorrow I'm going to revisit the... What do I want to do? Actually I should start promoting the Chronic Pain channel. I'll probably put a link on YouTube, on Facebook and stuff, Twitter. Just share that link to the YouTube channel. And I'm going to revisit maybe the sleep hypnosis ones and make sure I've got all everything all uploaded there and all the relaxation ones because there's still some more relaxation ones to upload uh, and there's some that I have to make so it's probably another few days worth of work there uh, 
spread out over a month, maybe, I don't know. Uh, see how I feel. And then what I did is I decided to start working on my website. Because I've been a little bit neglectful to the website lately. I've been focusing very much, first of all, on the podcast, then on the YouTube channels. Um, I want to go back to the podcast. I've got, still got a lot more do, to do there. Um, but the website, and there's stuff I need to do. So I went back. I put a, a testimonial page back on there because I had one on before. It cost me money every month, like three fifty a month, to have that on there, so that people can actually add testimonials onto the website. Uh, automatically themselves so I have to pay for that little bit of service so uh, I put it back on there at the moment there's no testimonials there's just some fake ones that comes automatically with the the app and they delete them as soon as someone puts a new one on but it does say this is not a real testimonial I'm quite pleased with the way the website's going I've done that. I've also been redesigning the first page. The problem is I've just got too much stuff. It's so much stuff. It's so many podcasts, so many uh, hypnosis courses I've done over the years. to organize it, categorize it in a way that works so that people can find what they want, as well as to continue to produce new recordings is a challenge, it is a challenge. Uh, but I'm, I'm rising to it for some reason did the hypnotic buffet yesterday again so I did the Monday continued that Monday weekly thing and uh, yeah I had a, a message on the YouTube channel for the let me bore you to sleep video that I did yesterday from Beanie Town Vlogs uh, on YouTube saying that the sessions are also quite good for anxiety and stress relief. So that's that's nice to hear. Thank you. Uh, I did reply on there as well. So that's that's what I'm doing. I'm just trying to get everything organised and in a way that I like them to be, so that I can then maybe start looking at I don't know maybe looking at writing a book or producing more sessions or producing some more courses I'm not sure I don't really know the main thing is I want to well I am accomplishing this actually but I'd like to increase the views and the listens and the pod, you know the downloads and that is increasing but I'd like I'd like to just continue that momentum and uh, I mean even on SoundCloud excuse me a minute let me click on SoundCloud because it updates regularly and it says how many of how many plays I've had in the last 24 hours. So I've had 735 plays in the last 24 hours. That's just on my main podcast. So I've now got 150,684 plays. That's without the all the other podcasts and stuff I've got. So I'm quite pleased with how it's going. What was I found, not weird, but I found oh, every now and then I'll have a look at the stats a little bit more in depth to see what countries. So in the last seven days, just on the SoundCloud main podcast, I've had 
3,394 plays. I've also had, so that's, I've fully had about six or 7,000 altogether with the other podcasts this last seven days. So the, yeah, what's strange is, it says what the most, um, the top countries in the last 24 hours, United States, or the last seven days, sorry, United States, United Kingdom second, Australia third, Canada fourth, fifth is Poland, sixth is Norway, 7th is Germany, 8th is Ireland, 9th is Italy, 10th is Slovenia, 11th is Spain, 12th is Brazil, 13th Panama, 14th Sweden, 15th Mexico, 16th Colombia, 17th India, 18th South Africa, 19th New Zealand, 20th Saudi Arabia, 21 Peru, 22 Qatar, 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 23 Belgium, 24 Israel, Switzerland, Czech Republic, Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela, France, France is way down. Uh, a few months ago, France was like one of the top ones. So, I think I've lost some fans in France. Uh, Costa Rica, Greece, Egypt, Austria, Japan, Chile, Denmark, Russian Federation. Romania, oh, Netherlands, Romania, Republic of Moldova, Philippines, Latvia, Bermuda, Malta, Malta, Slovakia, Cyprus, Hong Kong, Indonesia, Republic of Korea, Bulgaria, and Morocco. So that's the top 50 countries that listen have listened to me in the last week. That's a bit longer than I thought it was going to be. It's... Uh, but the top cities, I, I, just, I, I get a kick of looking at this for some reason. Los Angeles. So the top city in the last seven days, watching, listen to my podcast, my main podcast, which is the SoundCloud one, Jason Nealon's free hypnosis service. Um, 300, yeah, so it's Los Angeles. Number two is Phoenix, Arizona. Number three is Krakow, or Krakow, Poland. Number four, Ellesmere Port in United Kingdom. Don't even know where that is. I live here, I don't know where that is. Number five, Kingston, Australia. Number six, Elliot Lake, Canada. Number seven, Alsund, Norway. It's it's mainly American seas as I go down. But it's amazing. Sandy is number 40. Slovenia, I've got Slovenia, Glasgow. Wow, lots of different places. So if anybody is watching this and you listen to my stuff on SoundCloud. Thank you. I just realized my hairy chest is showing. My hairy boobies. Ooh. So thank you for listening to my stuff. That's just quite cool. I don't know, I, I get a little bit of a kick out of it. I might as well get some kind of pleasure, eh? So, Statistically, it's been statics. Statistics-wise, it's been quite good. Another thing I was going to say: I've been having these weird dreams. Um, the last two nights. Last night, I dreamt about a former friend. She was kind of like a girlfriend back when I was at school. And I just started thinking about. Her. Well, I was dreaming about meeting her again and everything, so that was a bit strange. And then the night before that, I dreamt about I met up with a friend from school who was one of my best mates for a while, and he lived 
around the corner from where I lived. And I'd started meeting up with other friends from school. And I was saying, oh, why have we left it so long? It's been 28 years or whatever since I last saw you all. Why? And it's actually been longer than that, but because I left school in 1986. So it's 32 years. And bloody hell. And I left that town that I lived in for good in 90, January 91. So that's what, 27 years ago. But I, didn't, but I also left before that, so I didn't have anything much to do with them, really. When I left school, I didn't have a lot of contact with people from school. Just shows how popular I was, I guess. I suppose I wasn't, I was working, working, working. So hard when I first left school, long hours. That's all I did, and I had no money. I was just such a small amount of money. I couldn't go out drinking or um, couldn't do anything, couldn't have a social life. So I didn't get to meet anyone, didn't get to um, continue that friendship with my friends from school on a in a kind of an adult way. Hmm. So I'm just going to chill out for a little bit. I'll upload this. Hopefully it'll be uploaded without error. And then I go to bed. And if it's not, if it doesn't upload quickly, I'll just leave it to upload when I go to bed and I'll sort it out in the morning and uh, share it then. So you take care of yourselves. And I'll see you probably tomorrow. <sighs> I could go to sleep now. I'm really good. Why don't I just go to sleep? The bed's in the other room. It's not. It's not like I have to hire out a, a chartered flight to get there, or an air balloon. Hair, or hair, hot air balloon, hot air balloon. You know, I'd have to build a bridge. Mind you, I, building bridges aren't really my thing. Burning bridges, that's what I'm good at. showing that you can't see anything I don't think I'm trying to I just want it I can't I still it hurts like anything at the moment but not not massively but actually that's what I want to do I talked about it the other day if I can get all the website stuff sorted done maybe I can start doing regular pain relief sessions and really try and reach a larger audience the original audience that I wanted to reach when I first started doing this 12 years ago although I'm happy for whatever audience I get and I'm, I'm pleased that I'm hopefully able to help not maybe with the blogs the blogs and stuff by the way if you do um, I suppose maybe this Maybe I shouldn't have the word bipolar in this vlog title because I don't always talk about um, mental illness, um, you know. I think it would be a bit boring if that's all I did. It's probably boring anyway, but... The vlog is more, these videos are more... Just a general journal of somebody that has bipolar which is me and my life which is making videos and audios mp3 downloads recordings hypnosis stuff 
online. That's what I do. That's what I devote my life to. So, you know. Oh, God, yeah. Here's something I had. Um, on my relax. No, on one of my videos. A couple of weeks ago, I had a, a person on YouTube. It did, they like posted a, an insult, but it was in a comment, but it was in French. So I just locked it, you know, I, I didn't delete it, didn't block them, I just left it. And I figured, well, if they don't like my stuff, they're not, they're not going to come back, are they? What would be the point in watching videos of someone that you don't like? Is you know, it's like eating a tuna fish sandwich, like, I can't stand tuna fish. <laughs> oh, it makes me feel ill, I'm going to throw up. You know. More tuna, more tuna. It's, um, it doesn't seem any point to that. So I think the, anyway, this morning or yesterday or sometime, I don't know when, I lose track of the time. Another comment was on one of my other videos, uh, one of the hypnosis channels, YouTube channels, saying that, Yeah, well, it is something like I really need help. Like you really need help. I mean, yeah, I do need support at times. Is there anything wrong with needing help at times? We all need help at times, don't we? And what's wrong for, for asking for what you need? I don't do it financially, but I do try and get a little bit of like support I've got a social worker and stuff take medication that's all help um, should I be pretending should I carry on like I used to and pretend walk around with a big like mask on mind you probably more chance of getting a girlfriend if I wore a mask but a big Donald Trump mask I just it takes years it was taking me years to get to a point where I can just be open and kind of not care not be too self-conscious which is weird but I think the only reason I could do this is because I've been doing it for 12 years I know I keep mentioning 12 years but I kind of do that to remind myself that actually I have accomplished something I don't know what but I've accomplished something I've managed to stick at something for quite a long time and it's 20 years if you include when I first started getting into hypnosis and therapy. So I've been in this for 20 years, but 12 years actually online. Actually, it's not 12 years, it's, it's 14 years. Because I used to have a website called helpwithpain.com in 2004. Ah, I see. But I forget about that. I think I class 2006 as the start because that's when I really kind of went for it. But 2004 is when I started. It just took me two years before I actually got any any interest. <laughs> hmm. That's it. That's it for me. I'm gonna go. Take care of yourselves and I will see you probably tomorrow. Why? See ya.